If you create sublimation tumbler designs like me, you probably already know that there are also hundreds of other sublimation products that you can create designs for, like these t-shirt designs, for example, or even these wind spinners. But whether you are creating tumbler designs or really anything else, even with AI, there was usually the extra step of having to add and edit your quote, the name, or really any other type of text that needed to be part of the design, which only led to more time being spent per design. And if you're anything like me who posts 15 to 20 listings on average per day, you need to save as much time as possible wherever you can. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I make best-selling quote designs to sell for all of the sublimation products in just a few seconds without having to generate in something like mid-journey and then upscale it and then remove the background and then finally edit it in your software of choice. Kittle's AI Image Generator version 2.0 has just been released and it has been game changing for me because of its high quality outputs that are super detailed and it is also so accurate with text compared to some of the other products I've tried out there. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop over to Kittle and show you exactly how I'm using it to get the best results. So once you are over in Kittle, you'll just want to start out by clicking on new project and setting your product's dimensions. For me, usually this is 9.3 by 8.2 inches if I am just designing for a regular skinny ounce tumbler wrap, or if it's a shirt, it will be 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. So that is what I'm going to go ahead and set my canvas at for today and just walk through my process of how I would design for a t-shirt with a specific type of quote, um, and then also transfer that over to different types of product designs, like add it to a tumbler design or maybe even a wind spinner design. Um, it really just depends on if the design makes sense to put it into other types of sizes for other types of products. So I'll just go ahead and click create. Once I'm in Kittle's um, canvas area, I'm just navigating down to the little star icon that says Kittle AI and clicking that. They do still have both versions on here, so you can toggle in between the two if you want to get different results. Um, with the text, I have seen that you'll need to be on version 2.0, and this is where they've also added different aspect ratios. So you have your typical square, you can have it created in a landscape, the 16 to nine, or in the horizontal uh, format, nine by 16. So for this, I'm just going to leave it as the square because it will just, it doesn't matter because I'm going to be resizing it to fit my t-shirt design um, dimensions. So hopping back over to my shop, just as an example, for t-shirt designs, as I said, I normally design 54 or 4,500 by 5,400 or just a um, square will work as well. And these are the types of designs that I'm talking about here where I had created these in AI, but had to move it in to either Kittle or Canva or Photoshop or whatever it is that you are using will work and add this type of text um, to have the design be actually complete. I also had to upscale it in something like Gigapixel and also re remove the background um, as well. So with Kittle, this takes care of all of that and I don't have the three extra steps. Um, instead, I'm able just to go ahead and create it start to finish in Kittle, making it much easier. So since people seemed to like this one quite a bit last week, I'm going to recreate this one in Kittle in a few different design styles uh, to show you exactly how I'm able to get this done in just a few seconds. And since I couldn't remember my prompt, I actually copied it in here just in case. So I'm adding this here, but basically it just says, create a cute Highland cow wearing a plaid green scarf with clovers around with a sign that says, kiss me, I'm Irish. So I'm going to come down here to the clip art styles and start with the watercolor 
style just because this uh, tends to work best in my type of shop and um, I'll try a few other ones and if they are quite different I would end up usually using um, whichever ones worked uh, just to have as many varieties as possible. And so as you can see that just took a few seconds and so I'm just going to blow it all the way up to fit the majority of the t-shirt canvas and then we will remove the background. As you can see, um, the text was incredibly um, accurate. As of yet, I have not had Kittle um, come out with anything misspelled um, or without the appropriate uh, punctuation if I added it. So that has been really different compared to the other AI softwares that I've used where more than 50% of the time, the text results were not accurate. So after I've brought it up to the size that I need it, I'm just going to click on AI background remover because it does generate this with a white background and to be able to use it for a t-shirt you'll need to have the background removed. So once that has finished the design is basically done. I don't need to really do anything else at this point. If I wanted to add anything additional, additional I would just hop over to the elements tab and type in what I needed. So let's say I did want to add a few more clovers. I could add clovers and then change the colors to fit whatever I needed it to be. So let's just say I'm going to add that and add just a few of those more around the design just to kind of fill it out. And now it's ready to go. So I will just click on download up here and then make sure that the size is changed to what I want it to be. I don't need it at 30 by 36. So it changed that when I changed the DPI originally. So I'm going to just switch this back to 4,500 by 5,400 and then just click remove background just to make sure and optimize quality and then download this as a PNG. And there is the PNG. So at this point, it's ready just to be mopped up and added to the t-shirt, the coffee mug, whatever it was that I was creating for. So real quick, I just wanted to show you the exact same prompt put in something like Mid Journey and the differences that you're going to see without doing a bunch of back and forth, trying to get Mid Journey to come up with something similar that would work as a t shirt graphic or a coffee mug graphic or even part of a Tumblr wrap design. So this is the exact same prompt in version six of Mid Journey. And you can see already that um, number one, it's not anything that's going to be useful for that type of graphic. And then number two, every single one of these had some type of spelling error. Um, some had extra words, some were not readable at all. And while the images might be cute, um, given that there wasn't very much to go on besides um, the basics of what I put in here. It's just not usable as the type of graphics that most would need on an Etsy shop to sell either, again, as clip art, t-shirt designs, uh, coffee mug designs, um, and so on. I did uh, run it in version 5.2, which is uh, my usual go-to for things like that. And it still had problems of course, it's not going to be able to do the text at all, but again, none of these would be usable um, except for maybe this one on a Tumblr wrap. But again, not what I'm looking for for these types of designs. I could definitely play around with this for a bit by adding in things like add a white background or um, particular styles. But the thing with Kittle is, is that with your very basic prompt. It is able to understand this, get the text right, and then also all you have to do is click a few buttons or one button in the actual style that you are trying to create in and it just solves a lot of your problems. In this tab, I just wanted to show you a few other of the variations that it came up with. The exact same prompt was used. I just changed the clip art style. So for this first one up here, I clicked on the mascot, which is a new um, style that was added. And this is what it came out with. So very cute. I could see this being useful and used 
for like digital planner stickers. And if you haven't had a chance to watch my digital planner video, then make sure you watch that below, or I'll have that linked below um, and where it will be on the screen here. Um, but this is where I would use this type of style for. Um, this was another watercolor style right here. So again, more along the lines of the style that is used in my shop for tumblers and t-shirt designs. And then this was the t-shirt vector style. So this one is this first one right here, t-shirt graphic. Um, so not a vector, sorry. It was a clip art style, but it's called the t-shirt graphic. So that one is a little bit more cartoony, but this is the type of graphic designs that work well on t-shirt designs. Uh, when I generally think of this, I think of t-shirt designs that people use on Amazon. So that is the three that I liked the most that I would probably use on my site. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. And if you've followed my shop at all, you know that chickens, uh, for whatever reason, with my audience have been very popular, especially with this saying. So I wanted to demonstrate a few different variations of this, and I've put these on shirts, on tumblers, on wind spinners, and I just typed in a funny, annoyed-looking chicken looking directly forward, and this is key because sometimes it will come out with a different um, position of the chicken that I didn't want it. So make sure that you add directly what placement you want the image to be. And with the text, cluck off. In the first variation, which was this one, I did not put in a script font. It just said cluck off as the ending. And this is what it came out with. So this one is the mascot style again so this one right here and then this one was the watercolor style the big thing with this is that it was able to recognize that i wanted it in a script font which was really nice instead of just the block letters and so now if i take this exact same prompt and toggle back over to the version one i'm going to show you exactly the difference just so you can see but i'm going to switch it to let's see I've switched it to the t-shirt graphic again and then clicked generate image. And this is what we get. So same t-shirt graphic um, style was chosen, but it's way different than the one here, as you can see. It also cannot recognize the text at all. So I highly recommend using the newest version uh, to be able to get these types of results. So if I wanted to make this for multiple types of products for different sizes, all that I would do, and this one was just set as a 12 by 1200, I believe. Yeah, 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. So for my shirt design, I would just go ahead and download this one as is. So once I have removed the background, I will just click on download and make sure this is set to 5,000 by 5,000, remove the background, optimize quality, and then download as a PNG. Now to use it for my Tumblr wrap, I would go ahead and just switch this to inches and put in my dimensions, which are 9.3 by 8.2. Make sure you unlock that. So I've just went over to the little gear settings icon to change the size to my Tumblr design. And that is 9.3 by 8.2. And I've just clicked confirm. And then that will change the size of my canvas here. So now that I've resized my canvas to the Tumblr design size, I've just clicked on upload over here and the newly generated AI image will be right here. So I just clicked on that and then I'll just resize it for how I want it to fit on the Tumblr. And then I would go through my regular process of adding anything else that I wanted to. So for this, I was just going to add some like additional splatters around it. Um, since I want to keep it as a transparent background um, for this type of design, my people just seem to like those better. So I would go through the same process of what I usually do and finish the design. 
that kind of looks like blood, so I'm not going to stick with that one. But at the end of this, I would go ahead and download this. Once again, remove the background, optimize quality, and then it's ready to be downloaded as a PNG. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you would like to see a video on the complete process of how I would design a set of digital planner stickers, to go along with the digital planner that you may have created, then be sure to let me know in the comments below, just type something like digital planner sticker tutorial, and I will be happy to get that created. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.